and up this. Yeah, hello to everyone. Um, thanks for joining our update session, mobile iron update session. Um, what, what we would like to do today is just to, to give you a short overview and update uh, what, what is new at mobile iron from, from product perspective, um, but uh, also to have a look into this uh, master change of our, of our uh, license and bundle systems and uh, then just drop into how to use the partner portal for all the resources where you can get all the information and stuff like that. And uh, this is what we would like to cover in the next 60 minutes. Um, so just to, to introduce myself, it's Matthias from Mobile Iron. I'm the uh, head of channel for Central EMEA with my team, and we are covering all partner-related things um, to enable partners to, to give partners access to even try to understand what kind of uh, joint marketing activities we can do together with Reddington and you as a partner. And uh, for that, I, I invited my teammate, Manuel. He's that guy who will um, give you a short update on, on the product side and uh, what, what there are changes, but also from a sales perspective, how to position our products. And uh, therefore, I would like to hand over to him that he can um, start with the first part of our webinar. Perfect. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, thanks, Matthias, for the introduction. And I will try to do uh, a short update uh, about Mobile Iron today. And um, as we as we spoke before, Matthias and I, we, we set out to, to make this a recurring event right that we always use this platform here to give you guys updates about the newest products about mobile iron and um, how you can leverage that how you can sell it easier to your customers and what is all the, the newest stuff as well sometimes we have new stuff and then we can talk especially about the new stuff but today we want to start of course with a disclaimer as it as it is for a um for a company based in the us and at the stock market but um, yeah, first of all, I would like to start today with what we're having right now. So before we would dig deep in all the different topics, uh, I, would, I would like to start with, and um, this is what we have right now. This is what we are doing right now and, 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 the, and the quick message behind it, right? So that everybody knows this is the, the agenda, how Mobile Iron is positioning it today. Okay, and I, I choose this slide um, just because I think you can see everything on it, but um, I really like it because we have the we have the logical um, the logical um, yeah construction here. So um, we will start with UEM, right? UEM is the product everybody knows. It's MDM or EMM or today we call it UEM. I will go into that a little bit later, but yeah, at the end, what we're doing with UEM and Sentry is part of UEM. Everybody, uh, every mobile iron partner knows it, right? It's our secure gateway. But um, what I what I wanted to do is today we want to talk about mobile iron UEM a little bit more, right? How good is UEM? What what for what good is it? Yeah, what are we doing with it uh, lately? And what is the next steps for us in working with Mobile Iron UEM, right? And then we have Mobile Iron Access, our access product. And then we have Fred Defense, our defense product. With, we are looking to make sure that your devices are secure. So and before I jump into the UEM part, I would like to give you guys a, a small head up for all the different kind of products mobile iron has just so a customer asks you today or tomorrow you at least to be able to give them the the short and the short answer for that right so okay with uem what is uem uem is our old mdm emm product that means with uem unified endpoint management you as a partner, you can deliver. You can help your customers deliver a secure workspace on their device. Doesn't matter which device, macOS, iOS, Windows 10, doesn't matter. Every device. So with UEM, you deliver 
a nice and secure uh, container on a mobile phone or a, or a mobile device, any kind of it, and you have your secure data in it, right? And then you can work from, from your phone and with Mobile Iron Sentry, which is part of UEM, you have always the capability to go to your internal resources in your company on a secure way and access your data. This is so the typical UEM, this is what Mobile Iron as a product was for the last 10 years, right? So UEM just manage this device and get access to your data, which is in your company. Fine. So in the last years, the, the world has changed and everybody is accessing their data, not only on premise, they're also using it in the cloud right now. So yeah, they have some data on premise, but they have now also one or two in the cloud. And today it's one or two or three. In the next years, it's getting five, six, seven, and, and so on and so on. Why well, it's, it's very uh, cost effective and secure and also very nice to sell for the customer, right? So <laughs> that's why we have more and more cloud in the next years. But also what we have with access is because we have the, as we did with Sentry, the, the, the canal to make sure everything goes through that gateway when we want to access these data, we can deliver single sign-on with Mobile Iron Access. So that means Mobile Iron Access is not just only our, our product, which we can use to access our cloud data securely, now we can also deliver single sign-on. And of course, we as Mobile Iron said single sign-on uh, is not enough for us. Single sign-on, everybody can do single sign-on. So we built zero sign-on on top of it. So yeah, Mobile Iron Access as a product gives you access to your external data sources, not the internal one, your external one, and delivers you seamless single sign-on or zero sign-on experience. So yeah, this is what uh, another company will sell you as multi-factor authentication. This is just part of Mobile Iron Access here included. And last but not least, Mobile Iron Threat Defense. So now we have, we have with UVM, we have a secure device. With Sentry, we have the access to our internal resources secured. With Access, we have the the, we have the resources secured for our external resources and we delivered single sign-on or seamless zero sign-on, right? However you want to configure it. So now we have a real secure company and we can access all the data in our enterprise, but we need to make sure that we have a, a second, uh, a, a special security layer to make sure that when we use our devices, and that kind of capability, we want to make sure that nobody is stealing our intellectual property, right? So how can we do this? We need to make sure that we have a product like Threat Defense, for example, where we not only can make sure, as we did with UEM and Sentry and Access, that we make sure everything is safe and secure. No, with Threat Defense, we also detect if someone is hacking you with a zero, uh, with a zero day or someone is hacking the network which you are connected to or stuff like that. So all the other very different, but very hard to detect uh, security features. This is something we deliver in threat defense. And this altogether is the whole mobile iron product pipeline, right? This is our complete product portfolio, what we are delivered today. So I, I, I intentionally started with the Big bang at this start, right? To make sure everybody knows this is all we have. But I need, want to make sure that everybody has um, all the knowledge that they need, for example, with UEM. So today we want to start with UEM, right? So um, this is the first part. MDM goes, or MDM is UEM, right? So wh why is it so? Because, yeah, of course, MDM was at a time where we only managed mobile devices, smartphones, or mostly smartphones. But today we, we manage macOS like there's is an iPhone. We manage Windows 10 like there are tablets. Doesn't matter, right? We can manage every device which has an actual operating system like Android, iOS, macOS, or Windows 10. So yes, the mobile apps 
driving that, right? So mobile productivity started with Microsoft Outlook. People started using Outlook and say, yeah, that's productivity. I'm doing Excel and I'm doing Outlook from all the way. But in the end, this was just the beginning. Right now, when you look at our customers, they have lots of different apps. They lose, use lots of interesting use cases here for. And we meet, need to make sure, only we as Mobile Iron have the capability to make sure that the customer can use all the things that they want to use, but to make sure that these um, apps and all of that is secure. Then when it's not secure, you have a big problem because your data is everywhere, right? As we, as we talked before, your data is on every OS, on every device, and not just in your company on premise. No, it's also on every cloud from Box, Dropbox, or so on. So yeah, data is everywhere, and you need to make sure that we can secure that. But the old model doesn't work for that, right? That's why Mobile Iron UEM is very important here to, to make sure that we can help all our new, all our customers and all of the new ideas that we can go that way. We can go, we can work with them the new way every company is presenting them with cloud service, with different devices. Yes, we can do it, but we need a, we need a different, we need a, we need a different solution for that, right? And the solution or the, the, the architecture behind that needs to be a mobile centric security platform. And this is exactly what we're doing with Mobile Iron. We deliver you a mobile-centric security platform, right? As I said in the first slide, yeah, UEM is the main part and everybody knows it and needs it, but access as well as threat defense, these are all are parts of one big platform, of a security platform, just especially using the mobile device, yeah, as, as the center, right? Because as we know, as we all know this, the mobile device is the center uh, for the most of these uh, users and companies. And as you probably will know, you also will pick up your phone to 30 to 50 days uh, a day. And this is nothing you, not, you can do or you will do with your PC or so on. So yes, the mobile device has a way more important role than your PC even though we don't really see it or accept it right now, but it is. We use it way more often. We have way more sensitive data on that phone. And the funny thing about that is we have way less security on these mobile devices, right? We use them every day for all of the stuff, but we don't have, as you have on your Windows PC, uh, antivirus, McAfee, or silence, or whatever they all call it. So you don't have it on your mobile device. You just use it and you'll be happy because nothing is broken and nothing gets hacked. But you know it, you don't know it. So this is why we say a mobile centric security platform needs to do one very important thing. They need to assume back, bad actors are already on your network. That means that when you open an app that there is a the very fast process in the background which validates your device, establish the user contents, check the app authorization, verify your network. Is the network a hack network? Is the, is this in a real network? Is not a company network? And even detect and remediate threats. So even before you open that app, and this is only we're talking about milliseconds here, the, the phone will detect and say, oh no, we cannot open that app right now because your phone is not secure in the current state ongoing compliance enforcement. As, as soon as your device is not compliant, they cannot access any data. This is exactly what every company is looking for, to make sure that their data is safe no matter what. And this is the very important point. So that's why we need a mobile-centric security platform. And these are the expectations everybody has as a, for that platform, right? They say, okay, we need to streamline and automate everything because we cannot do this manual for every user and everything. So yes, of course, streamline and automation, one of the very big points we need to have. And of course, provide a great user experience. You all know when the user experience suck, nobody will use it. That means everybody will find a way around it. So your company data is, again, not safe again. And this is how you need to position that to your customers, right? To make sure that you can deliver here security 
and a great user experience. Then that's all about. And the last part, of course, security, data protection, right? We need to make sure data is protected. Otherwise, we always have a big problem. So let's talk about UEM, right? As, as I said, today we want to talk about UEM. And, and on the next call, we will tackle access, mobile iron access with all the bells and rings. And on the next one, we will cover mobile iron threat defense. Whenever this will happen, I don't have any dates right now, but I think we will figure it out. And together with our distributor, we will keep you guys updated with all the new information we have. So with Mobile Iron Sentry, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning, that's our secure gateway. We make sure that when a user is uh, accessing your internal company data with Mobile Iron Sentry, you have a, a gateway to make sure that only devices that are authorized are really going to have access to the data going through it. And this is a very important point because, yeah, of course, your internal data needs to be safe as well as your external data, right? So Sentry is a very good gateway to make sure that you always can make sure that device, only devices who have authorized are able to uh, access your data. Then, of course, Mobile Iron Apps at Work is one of the best app stores here out there. With Mobile Iron Apps at Work, we can deliver a customized experience. So you as a partner can deliver a customized experience for your customer, right? So, for example, your customer is BMW, then you can have in that app store BMW logos and all of that stuff. So you can really customize it for your customer. So they even think that you bought, you, you, you built the app store by yourself, right? So this is a very interesting point. And with mobile iron apps at work, you can really give a, uh, a customer the feeling that, okay, this is now their customer app store. Only apps that the customer is owning uh, or using are available at that app store. So a very nice experience, really. And of course, Mobile Iron App Connect is our containerization feature. You all heard it uh, before. Um, this is the way we make sure that always company data and private data are always separated on, a, on the device, right? App containerization is the keyword here. We make sure that only apps which are in one container are able to talk to each other, right? To make sure that you are not losing your company data to your private Dropbox or otherwise around, right? So this is why it's so important to have app containerization. And of course, Mobile Iron Tunnel, one of the best products, one of the oldest and the best products Mobile Iron have. And, and that's, that's really true. Um, Mobile Iron Tunnel, as I said three slides ago, um, automation, yeah? Streamline and automation. Tunnel is everything we set in, in one product, right? With Tunnel, we deliver not just a VPN, which will cost you lots of money when you buy it externally from any other checkpoint or all the other stuff out there. So you pay lots, lots of more money just to get a VPN from these, from these other manufacturers. For us, Tunnel is a feature, right? So, but we deliver it as everybody else. No, not, not as everybody else, even better, because we deliver it on your own, on your own on-premise, right? So you have your own VPN system, which is working directly on your own on-premise um, sentry, for example, right? And this is a very important point because right now you can deliver the real nice VPN solution, even device-wide VPN or and that's uh, even even cooler if you use the automated version um, per app VPN. So then you have really automatically the, the right VPN for the right application. So when I go, for example, in Europe, we have the GDPR, right? So we, a, a company needs to be responsible to make sure private data and business data is uh, getting not mixed up here, right? So it's very hard when someone using a company-wide VPN and they're using that phone also for private stuff because and when they surf, surf on the internal uh, internet website, it's good when they have on the VPN, but when they're forgetting to log out of the VPN after that and they go Facebook or other private websites, then everything runs through the VPN even though it's not a company data, right? So that's not a good thing. 
This is the funny thing about VPN. It's so easy. It's so seamless. You just hit the app you want to use, and in the background, everything will check. As we as we did with the uh, with the zero trust. Same we do it with Tunnel, right? So you hit an application in the back end. Someone says, "Oh, this application is our expenses application." So we want to make sure that the user can only use it when he is on a VPN. So user clicks on the application. In the background, they check and say, "Oh, this application needs to have a VPN." Automatically, the VPN will be switched on, right? User is he doesn't even notice it. He's just using the app. In the back end, the VPN is on, the user is noting it. Go out to the app and go, for example, to Facebook. Yeah, and VPN is out. Not, no private data will get collected. And that's a very important thing. And it's a very nice use case for every customer, right? The customer loves when you don't give him the, the capability to do all the, the, the missteps here. Because with, with Mobile Iron Tunnel, you take all the responsibility away from the user. You as an admin can can it configure for one time and it just works. Every user can just use it and nobody is needs to have a bad conversation about how you why you are you not closing down your VPN anytime, right? So this is a very important point and it's a very nice differentiator for mobile iron that we have a VPN directly in, in, integrated in mobile iron. You, have, you don't need to pay anything extra for that. And that's a very important point. So it's directly integrated in Mobile Iron UEM. Okay, and here we have some other Mobile Iron UEM apps. I will not will waste you too much time of it because some of you hopefully have seen Email Plus or Web at Work or Docs at Work or even Help at Work. But to, to give you guys just two or three sentences for, for every application to make sure you have the, the right positioning and the right values in mind. So for Email Plus, of course, we deliver an email system plus, right? So we say, yeah, you can use your native email or you can use Email Plus and the plus stands for extra. We deliver extra security, extra containerization. We can have some much more security configurations capabilities in this application. But in the end, it's just email as everybody else email, right? We only have here way more security capabilities included in this application. So if a customer of yours uh, is really security focused, then you should uh, definitely show him email plus and show him that that's the best and the securest way to make sure he uses email. With Web at Work, we deliver the typical automation stuff as, a, as I mentioned. Web at Work is a web browser um, with per app VPN included in the technology. And that works out like that. So you open that browser and go, for example, on twitter.com, everything is fine. You go on that same browser and switch to, in our case, mobileiron.com or mobile iron internal, then you will see, okay, VPN started in the back end, just use it as a VPN. This is a VPN connection. And as soon as I open a second tab, the second tab is not in the VPN, right? So a really good web browser with a really great VPN capability built in. And then we have Docs at Work. Docs at Work, just to summarize a little bit, yeah, it's just a repository. It's it's a repository for all your shares, network shares, Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, whatever you have. You can just put it all together in one place, and your user can just use it via Docs at Work and can access all the data they have. Doesn't matter if it's in the cloud or if it's on premise, right? And the the last app, and it's we should not always talk about it last because it's also a very nice application and it's help at work. With help at work, we deliver you team viewer like remote desktop support. In, in most of the case, um, we're using team viewer white labeled. So this is no secret there. You will get team viewer license from us when you get mobile iron help at work. And then you have a nice uh, capabilities to give your customers remote support. Exactly, and I think my time should be up any minute now. 
Okay. Uh, Man Manuel, just get a little bit up there that we have enough time to talk about the new license model. Perfect. Um, Okay, so this was the, already this was the last slide um, for the UEM part. And as of course, when you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate, jump over to us and we were ready to, to help you guys and, and show you. Okay. okay. Manuel, thanks uh, for that. I have to... have to click on the right application I would like to share. So hopefully you can see this announcement, February 2020. Manuel, please confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. No. This is just a reminder. We, we changed our license model on uh, July 1st. So it's uh, only 22 days back. We changed that. Um, one, one part is uh, there are no perpetual licenses anymore. It's all going to subscription. The reason for that is uh, like uh, every every software seller is doing that. Uh, sometimes uh, 10 years ago, they started to do that. We have to do that right now. And uh, this is very important. This end of life of perpetual licenses does not mean that there is no on-prem for uh, the next time this is uh, the, the system behind that is not uh, affected by that is only the change of of the license model and uh, this is very important and um, we we did a webinar on on the begin of june it's a 40 40 minute webinar and it's walking through all the all the kinds of what is new what are the um, migration paths and stuff like that. And we will deliver this to you afterwards, after this webinar, uh, just to give the, the opportunity to jump through that uh, entire webinar with all the documentations behind that. Doesn't make sense to run this uh, right now, but this is again, um, there was a change on, on July 1st. Please be aware of that. Um, you can't sell any perpetual license anymore. So now I have to, Stop this one and so hopefully I cannot see what what kind I'm sharing. Uh, Manuel, is this the how to sell mobile iron slide? Or Deepa, is this how to sell? Sorry, Matthias. Um, what what slide do you see for me? I don't see what what how to, uh, how to sell mobile line. Per, 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 what I would like to share. I, I can't see what what okay. uh, I'm sharing, so I have to double check that. Okay, Th this slide we will share after this call. This is the 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 basis of of all these new bundles. And as you see, we do have uh, two bundles, and one is secure UEM. The other one is secure UEM premium. And what is behind that and what what is uh, in what bundle, it's very easy to, to see this uh, marks here. And uh, there you see what, what uh, Manuel just went through this tunnel thing. Um, it's it's the VPF, uh, VPN uh, part. This, this shows here, um, it is very interesting to do upsell to the customers for product they don't have to buy separately. And, and it's always also included in our platform. So you just have to swap the, the uh, bundle to secure UM premium, and then it's included. And you will see all these all this, uh, um, products are in here are marked as this. The second section is the add-ons from secure UM and secure UM premium. There is threat detection. This Threat defense is uh, included in, in uh, here, anti-pishing, app analytics. And, and then there are some parts you have to use the, the MTT premium, as you see here, for the analytics. Then there is in the um, UEM premium is one zero sign on application. That means one web application is included. 
if the customer needs more than one web application and access to that, um, he has to, to buy that from this additional part as uh, an add-on. And uh, this, this is very easy. We would like to, to give him here an idea of uh, what, what is this product about the zero sign-on. And to be honest, it's very, very easy to show a customer like to, to um, get access with an iPhone with face recognition. And this part um, allows you to get or, or grant access to your enterprise data without putting any password and username in there. So this is this zero sign on feature, what we are delivering and what is so easy to use. And I think this is one of the most important points um, for, for the user, from a user perspective, it's not to put in any kind of, of uh, password and, and stuff like that, just to use your biometrics and, and uh, use this way to um, get access to the, the right content. Um, OK, there is a professional service um, option behind that. Uh, we will send out this, this page to you to have an overview of that. Um, please go through that to get an understanding of uh, the new bundles, what is included. And uh, the, the second part is please use the the uh, uh, recording version, what I will uh, share with you, um, just to understand what is the change, what does it mean, and what is for existing customers the, the migration path, um, if they are looking for new um, additional licenses, and uh, what is with the old licenses, what what uh, they, they have to think about, and, and what they have to be aware of. So this is, I think it's very simple, and the way for um, especially new customers is to make it much more easier. And this is only these two bundles, Secure UEM and Secure UEM Premium. It depends on what the customer will um, will have, what, what features he would like to, to have, and uh, what access he would like to, to handle with the uh, CSO. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so then I would like to share another part of my screen. There is my Safari browser. So hopefully you can see this partner portal stuff. No, cannot see it, uh, but yes. Okay, then I have to go back. Okay. Where yeah, now we can. Okay. Now we can. So th this is this is uh, um, from from my point of view as a as a channel manager a very important point. This is our partner portal dot dot com. This is where you can find all the related informations to. And this is um, important if you as a partner has access to this this portal. Um, you will pop up as with your name here, and you will see your dedicated informations as a partner. What you have to see. Uh, that that starts with your accounts. That uh, goes with the leads. If you are going into the lead section, um, please. There are two different tabs. There is a deal rec section. Please register these deals. What you are working on, put that into the system. That means we are talking. Reading is talking with you with a quote and put this quote onto this deal rec um, after approved. And we can talk about that. There is an opportunity in our system, what, what we can uh, track and what we are, can uh, pushing. And this is, this is a very important point. And that partner, if, if you are in an area where, where more partners are uh, battling with one and the same customer, that partner with the deal rack is always that partner who get, gets the best price. Um, this is our regulation behind that. So make sure that uh, the the uh, deals what you are looking for and the customers or prospects what you are looking for are registered as a deal. Um, important point. So if you are running with us uh, and not started, you will see in your opportunity part. Um, you will see everything from renewals to um, to the to the current pipeline. You can go through that. So just jump into that, have a look 
what is the the open opportunities what you are working on this is what we are interested in with with our sales guys because they have to forecast that they have to stage that in the right way um, and and all that stuff has to be based on this behind all this partner portal is our salesforce.com and um, so this is the the same data we are working with our management is working with even our bird board is working with so this this is very important to to uh, put all these opportunities up to date. There's one button, it's called resources. Please go into that because there is a lot of information from pricing, but also sales tools. You will find their sales place, how to position um, in a dedicated uh, vertical, like like uh, working from home, like rocketized, um, uh, rocketized hardware. Uh, uh, devices like like if you are going with a financial uh, vertical, you will find a lot of informations in there. There are collaterals, what you can use, what you can send to customers, what is based on um, with with uh, all the 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 uh, presentations, what we are using, like the first meeting deck or dedicated presentations like access, like threat defense. You all will find into into this uh, resource tab. Um, but also we are looking for um, what what is in in the in the competition. What are all these uh, things like like Citrix, like BlackBerry, VMware, AirWatch, or or all this stuff? Um, I think very often you are are been facing with the, the Microsoft Intune stuff. We do have battle cards in here. How we as mobile are in position against this um, competitors, and and this is a very important point. To have a look into if the customer already uses this and extremely high um, security focused, then Microsoft Intune is not the right product. And this is what what we are mentioning in this uh, battle cards. There are a lot of case studies in there. If if you are looking for a dedicated um, vertical, you will find all that stuff in there. If if there is not the right thing in there, sometimes not all the customers are allowing us using their um, references or case studies. So sometimes uh, please request that via Reddington or, or ourself. Um, sometimes we can talk about stuff without um, sharing the entire um, case study, but uh, especially in, in the pu public sector or, or government sector, I think it's very important to give them a good feeling that we are working, especially in this group, very, very uh, good and, and especially the security features are very important with, uh, for them. So there is a marketing part where you can find a lot of marketing stuff using for your website, using for for materials and, and uh, things you would like to send out. Uh, look into that. There are branding guidelines uh, to, to use the new logo and stuff like that. Uh, look into that. If you need more, just uh, reach out to us. Uh, we can help with that. So the last part is part of trainings and events. Um, I think one, one of the most important points, and this is part of our partner program, is um, how to enable our partners. And I go back to this home button just to, to make clear there is, a, there is a, a, yeah, a really short way to go there. Here is a mobile iron university. This part, you can go through this quick link or to this button. In the university, there is all the trainings and accreditations what we are requesting you as a partner, you have to run through. It's depending on the partner tier you are, starting with a silver partner, ending up with an iron partner. Um, there are different numbers of people we are requiring um, who has to be um, accredited in that part. And the, the reason behind that is we would like to enable you and make you aware of our products um, from sales, but even for from a, from a technical perspective. And all this stuff is in there. Um, what I will send out afterwards, um, in addition to all that stuff, is there is a training plan. And uh, this is the new version with all the new courses um, are in, in the Mobile Island University. Um, there you can show uh, there you can show up what 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 kind of uh, trainings you have to do. Um, 
but also what is the timely effort of that uh, what what uh, you, you should focus on and who, who should be focused on that from a sales or, or technical perspective. So please jump into that, go through these trainings. It's it's very important to be enabled to be skilled with all this uh, all this uh, trainings, what we do have. And this is all on the current base with all the um, uh, the current products and stuff. So So please use that. So you as a partner, especially new ones, uh, please go to this request the mobile cloud instance, demo instance, and uh, set as all as a serious sign on uh, demo instance. Click on that. In the background, we will create a tenant. This is only for you as a partner. If you would like to have an instance to play around, to have an idea of um, what, what is our system like, and, and uh, sometimes you need that to, to uh, run this for customers to see what is what is uh, not working or stuff like that. But again, this is not for customers. This is only for you as partner. If you would like to request a demo or an eval for, for a customer, just click into leads, direct, after registering a deal, you click on this registered and approved deal, and there you can find a button where it's uh, called request the customer eval and, and what kind of eval you are looking for. And then in the background, we again will um, create a, a tenant and, and uh, give you the login data. This is for the, for the customer. Behind that, we are creating an opportunity because then we have uh, this on, on, on our visibility on the radar that there is an uh, eval going on. We, we can help you or Reading can help you running this eval for the, for the customer. Um, this is uh, very, very uh, easy to, to uh, get access to that. But again, for, for you as a partner, please just uh, click on this requests and then you will get the, the um, demo instance for yourself. Okay. There's a lot of uh, stuff in there. Please go inside. Please have a look into um, in, in each of your um, partner world. There is one super user, user. It's called super user because this guy or, or uh, yeah, this guy has an additional button. It's called admin. Um, he or she is able to add new users. So there is, if there is a new person should have access to through the partner portal, just click on that, uh, add new user, and then you can do it by yourself and give them the role, technical or sales role. Everyone can, can uh, click on all or can use all these informations here. Okay, I think this was a short overview. Are there any questions? So I have, uh, Matthias, I have seen some questions in the Q&A and uh, they was from Ahmad. Why would MI Core UARM have Sentry and what can be the use of Sentry if at all or other Sentry related features are in premium? Okay, okay. let me just share the screen again with the... Yeah, can you do it? Yep. So, so hopefully it's in, yeah. Yeah, it's very... Uh, can you zoom a little bit, Matthias? Can you make it a little bit bigger? Yeah, uh, better. Nice. To... Okay. At least for me, my eyes are really bad, sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, so Sentry. Sentry is always included in every package, right? Sentry is part of UEM. And that's that's the, the key point here. UEM, um, the, the Sentry is always the gateway. You need the Sentry to have always the gateway to your internal resources, right? So even if you don't use internal resources, but you have a mail server, for example, internally, then you will also use um, your gateway for that. So Sentry is your gateway, and it's included in all packages, not only in premium. Uh, I hope that answered that question. But all other Sentry features is part of premium. So I'm not sure we can. Can we unmute this person? Of course, I would love to, to talk to them. But no, um, Sentry, right? The, the, the tunnel, app connect, email plus docs network, these are all premium features, right? 
but Sentry is in the secure UEM part with him. With him. Okay, let me just. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Matt, I think you can can. Uh, Perfect. Right uh, how are you guys? So uh, yeah, so my my main point was like Sentry can be either uh, an an uh, app Sentry or an app. A tunnel sentry or up connect sentry, whatever it is. So yeah. uh, it will it will act as as a gateway for the application, whether email or non email. But okay. if we see a tunnel up connect email plus docs at work, those are all uh, basically functions of the sentry. So I, I'm just trying to think of a scenario where we can benefit from the sentry. Uh, you know, before because uh, silver, gold, and platinum were were structured in a way let's say uh, 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 differently. But now if I have Sentry, actually I, I couldn't find a use for Sentry without add, uh, using it for, because I cannot use it for tunnel. If we, I have the basic bundle, I can't yeah. use it for- Ah, now. now I know, okay. Uh, you, your question is more like, what is the real uh, function for Sentry without premium package? Yeah, maybe only for browsing, tunneling browsing, but still if I tunnel browsing traffic in yeah, any way so or another, I need tunnel as well. So Yeah, yeah. So you're right. We have lots of these features in premium, but there is lots of other features a Sentry will bring you. For example, the compliance status of device, right? So with Sentry, we will always make sure that for email you don't need to use email plus, right? With with the uh, uh, yeah. So maybe native email uh, connectivity. I can route exactly. it with the sentry. Exactly. That's fine. So it will act as an active sync sentry in a way or another. Sync and and yeah. compliance check. Okay, fair enough. This answers my question exactly. Perfect. Perfect. The compliance check is more the 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 most important part here because this is why we built sentry in the first place, right? To make sure yes. that when a device is not compliant is not secure or anything anymore we cannot have any access to any company data so, to be honest i think uh, the new package form will change to a great extent the uh, the percentage of uh, customers customers will mostly go for uem premium in most of the cases mm -hmm. maybe before the focus was on the gold package exactly. but now it's it's it's, it's going to be more towards uem premium maybe That's 80 20 i see it yeah and don't forget, and I really like uh, the one thing I really like about the package is look at the price. When we look at the secure UEM and the secure UEM premium, right? We have almost a double in price. But when you look what what the feature capability is, it's kind of crazy, right? I yeah, yeah. I love the upsell from the secure UEM to the premium because you can not only go with tunnel VP as a VPN solution, which you know costs lots of money and any other. A vendor so you sell in the vpn solution but also yes. multi-factor authentication with the zero sign on for one application conditional access so this is so much stuff i really like it and i hope yeah. you guys too because i think it makes our jobs all of our jobs very easy yes there's no doubt having zso for one application uh, a major benefit especially now after covid 19 yes. 90 percent of the organizations even the ones that were uh, leaning toward on-premise solutions are having now at least office 365 Absolutely. so this is this that's is something exactly. very important yeah that's exactly your customers right now yeah. and, yes. I, and i think especially this COVID-19 um, disease, this drives all this all this cloud-based things. And uh, we do have the same in, in our in our region. Uh, a lot of customers are not that sure is cloud the, the right way, but there is no way around. And especially Microsoft um, Office uh, 365, it's only, only uh, on a cloud version available. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think this will drive cloud um, much more. Perfect. It would be great as well, maybe if uh, we have a different session, possibly, I know this is not part of the agenda today, for uh, if there's a roadmap for access to support uh, on-premise applications, possibly, that would be as well something to take into consideration. So, uh, yes, I would love to have it. Matthias, we, we talked also we before will, that. We will I have some more setup, something like that just to make a, a call a webinar like that on a regular base with different topics and what there is important and this is what what uh, i i uh, would like to have reading for that they request your questions 
in in the beginning and then we can focus on that on that uh, products or whatever you would like to talk about and and can put in our experts in there if if it's not enough that we can do that so we we can um we can invite them and then i think especially for new products for new go to market ways or even for for and this is a very important point our marketplace premier products sometimes it's interesting to reach out to customers not by the traditional UEM or MDM stuff reaching out with a totally different approach but at the end you do need a UEM to to uh, deploy that and and this is very very easy um, to to uh, build up and I think we should should run a lot of those um, webinars yeah okay yes. I see there is one hand hello okay all right we are just in time one minute over that but i think it uh, it was good yeah thanks for for attending this uh, this webinar we will set up a call like that in a, on a regular base i will i will uh, align with that with reddington and then um yeah let's have uh, some more interaction with that come with with questions and uh, we will answer that and uh, yeah let's do some some successful business together Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Mathieu. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your uh, Thank time. You. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for attending, and uh, we'll have the session again. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.